What's going on guys? No from Kicking Their Bass TV. I'm really excited to bring you guys this video today. Um, we're going to be trying to do pretty much some tutorial videos. So today I'm going to go out. I'm out on Lake Dowell. Um, really nice day on the lake right now. And so I'm really excited. I haven't even thrown a cast yet. But today what I'm going to be doing, I can't really tell you exactly what bait they're going to be biting on. So what I want to do is I'm going to fish a little bit up shallow. I might throw a jig, maybe a crankbait up on these banks. And if I don't get anything, maybe if I catch one or two, I might keep at it. But if I'll go out deep, I'll check the fish. I'm just going to try to figure the fish out. Then we'll go from there and see what bait I want to be teaching you guys about today. this little crankbait on um, it's just a regular Berkeley standard crankbait and it's red color the water's pretty stained here so I'm gonna be throwing this red um, but I'm just gonna throw it on this bank see if I can get a little reaction bite going if not I might need to slow down skip maybe a jig or a wacky rig up under these trees and see what I can get going All right guys, so I've been throwing this fluke. Um, what I'm trying to do is, I'm using it as a search bait right now. I'm just kind of throwing it at the bank. I threw one cast with it, had a swirl, something blew up on it. And to be honest, I thought it's a brim, but I, I really think they're gonna bite this, this fluke pretty good. So I'm just gonna throw it around these banks for a minute. I mean, I had, I believe I had one follow it back. It was hard to tell um, a few minutes ago, but I'm just gonna work this and see if we can catch some big ones. Usually on this side of the lake, they don't bite as good. So once we get to the other side, I think, I think we should be tearing them up. Yeah, they're not bad. There we go. Kind of got fish going. Throw him in the live well, he's a keeper. All right guys, so what I'm doing is I went down by the dam on this side of the lake that I thought was gonna be good. And I'm throwing a, I'm throwing a 5XD crankbait. I have it in a natural color um, for this water. It's, mu it's much more clear over here. Over there is really shallow and it just wasn't as clear, but I mean, look at that. I mean, it's not, not a bad fish, but we're gonna catch some big ones guys, don't worry. We're gonna catch some more. I should be able to catch some down here. But look at the mouth on this thing. Look at that. <laughs> what a nice fish. We're gonna throw them in the live bowl. We're just gonna try to catch a good limit of fish. Heck yeah. On these rocks. I'm about the same size, maybe a little shorter. All right, guys, fish number two off that 5XD. I'm just gonna throw him back. Nothing big. Let's just keep on. Let's keep on chucking, guys. Let's get some big ones on the boat. All right, guys. Right now, I'm just throwing a chatter bait, and I'm skipping it under this structure um, by the bank. There's a lot of bushes. There's a lot of rocks. A lot of trees. I'm pretty much skipping it. These trees are laying down in the water and pretty much getting my chatter bait way back up in there and um, getting under that shade. It's pretty hot outside. The water temp's getting up. The fish are looking for that shade. And um, most of them will hide under those trees. They'll hide all up in that, in those bushes. I can, as you can see, see what I'm doing right there? I'm just skipping it way back up under that tree. And I've had a few good ones following me back, just nothing nothing really committing but pretty much I mean even though if this isn't a pattern most of the time you can find fish like on trees and um, stuff like that all in the shade you know if, there, if there's a deep pattern usually most of the time there's a large mouth they'll still you'll still find some up shallow um, under that shade but for the docks guys uh, as you can tell on this one it has a light on it 
And I know that seems stupid, but usually at night, um, all that little bait fish, all those brim, all those shad, I pile up under that and the, the bass would be right under them, right around them, eating all that bait. So definitely those docks with the lights is something that's um, really something that you need to start fishing. Oh. <gasps> oh my God, it's a huge one. And my drag's loose. Oh, he's pulling the drag. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. Right there. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. This is a freaking hog. <laughs> Look at this fish. Look at it. Oh, my God. Let me show it to the GoPro. This is a... Freaky, look at the head on this thing. Oh my God. Guys, look at this fish. It's, I don't even know how much he weighs, but I'm gonna have to get the scale out later and weigh him. He's really short, which is weird, but his head is just monstrous. Look at that fish. God, what a good fish, guys. Boom! All right, guys, in and off the day. First of all, I apologize. If you guys, um, or if I didn't catch that many fish for you guys, I mean, I caught like three or four and my dad caught a few off camera that were just really small. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the fish, but honestly, the trip was worth it just for the fact of, I mean, I caught that really big fish and we're going to get some cool pictures of that. So let's go ahead and do that. What's going on guys? Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize. Um, right when I was about to literally show you guys the fish and let them go, it started pouring. When I mean pouring, I mean like quarter raindrops, if not double quarter raindrops, just going everywhere. We got soaked, I had to change clothes, everything is just all messed up. Uh, but I got the new kick in their bass shirts in and that's gonna be in the vlog, so stay tuned for that. I'm sure the vlog will be out before this video, but anyways, I'm gonna talk about the baits that we caught them on today. So the first bait that I caught two of the fish on, um, or three of the fish on, I didn't get one on camera, is just a 5XD crankbait. And this one's actually a natural painted one. And the rod that I have it on is an Akuma TCS rod. And this is the power crank rod. This is a, this is a standard cranking rod. Um, and I have it on the Helios reel. And that's one of my favorite comments, especially for cranking. Um, it doesn't really wear you out. And if you're wondering, this is a 7, 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. Um, I don't really mess around with the 5 to 1 gear ratio reels. I really would recommend... Um, the seven gear seven, seven three to one gear ratio reel and also i'm running that on 15 pound line so uh going on to the second bait this one i caught the big one on and i only caught one fish on this but i mean it was a good one so i'm using a fish head dude so uh this is actually a really great bait i haven't thrown it in a while and then i was like man i want to pick it up i want to try it so through that the line that i have it on is 15 pound and the akuma rod i have it on is the tcs but it's the martin apc this is pretty much like the all-purpose rod. I own literally like 12 of these, and I would highly recommend it. If you're gonna get an Akuma rod, definitely go with the Martin APC. Um, it's pretty much a medium heavy rod, and you can throw pretty much everything on it. And then the reel, I have a Helios TCS, just like the other one with the 7 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. And those are my setups, guys. It's kind of starting to rain on me again. I don't know what my luck is today with this, but I got one big fish out of it. But second of all, I'd like to apologize about not catching that many fish. I mean, really, I really expected to go whack them today and we didn't, but it's okay. So um, stay tuned for some more videos, and if you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up. If you got some tips out of the video, please give the video a thumbs up, and comment below on what you guys wanna see next. Peace.